The Downfall of a Legend, Charles Lindbergh, From Hero to Traitor In the murky depths of human existence, there lurk shadows that were once illuminated by the radiant glow of heroism. These individuals, once revered for their noble deeds, succumb to the seductive allure of darkness, their descent a chilling testament to the fragility of virtue. From the depths of their former glory, they emerged as figures of dread, their once admired names now whispered with fear and loathing. Their transformation serves as a stark reminder that even the most valiant can succumb to the temptations of power, greed, or vengeance. Among these fallen heroes, we find the likes of Charles Romley Alder Wright, a chemist whose quest for a pain-relieving medication birthed the monster scourge of heroin. His creation, intended to alleviate suffering, instead unleashed a plague of addiction and despair. Charles Lindbergh, a once celebrated aviator, embraced the venomous ideology his fascination with the Aryan myth, blinding him to the monstrous atrocities committed by the Third Reich. His descent into the embrace of evil tarnished his legacy, leaving behind a trail of betrayal and disillusionment. Fritz Haber, a pioneer in the field of chemistry, unwittingly unleashed a weapon of mass destruction upon the world. His invention of nitrogen fixation, while initially hailed as a revolutionary breakthrough, paved the way for the creation of poison gas, a tool of terror that would claim countless lives in the trenches of World War I. Linus Pauling, a two-time Nobel laureate, once revered for his groundbreaking scientific contributions, found himself ostracized for his fervent advocacy of megavitamin therapy, a controversial approach to healthcare that lacked scientific backing. His descent into pseudoscience eroded his once stellar reputation, casting a shadow over his illustrious career. Harry Harlow, a psychologist whose research into infant development claimed, conducted a series of disturbing experiments that subjected infant monkeys to isolation and social deprivation. His methods, deemed unethical and cruel, exposed the dark underbelly of scientific inquiry, highlighting the potential for even the most respected figures to succumb to the allure of unchecked ambition. These fallen heroes serve as cautionary tales, stark reminders that the path of virtue is treacherous and fraught with peril. Their descent into darkness underscores the fragility of human morality, demonstrating that even the most celebrated individuals are not immune to the temptations of power, greed, or misguided ambition. 1. Henry Heimlich In the realm of medical interventions, there exists an enigmatic figure shrouded in a duality of life-saving brilliance and controversial missteps, Henry Heimlich. His name, forever etched in our collective consciousness, echoes the Heimlich Maneuver, a life-saving technique that has averted countless choking fatalities. Yet, beneath this mantle of heroism lies a tangled web of questionable practices and questionable beliefs that cast a shadow over his legacy. Henry, the thoracic surgeon and inventor, emerged as a beacon of hope, his brainchild the Heimlich Maneuver, a desperate grasp for survival in the face of choking, a silent killer that claimed over 4,900 lives in the U.S. alone in 2020. His invention, a symphony of swift, forceful abdominal thrusts, became a global lifeline, rescuing countless individuals from the clutches of imminent asphyxiation. Yet, amidst the accolades and admiration, a dark undercurrent began to stir. Henry's unwavering belief in his maneuver's versatility led him to promote its use in treating drowning victims, a misguided notion that proved to be disastrous. His advocacy for malaria therapy as a cure for HIV further tarnished his reputation, blurring the lines between medical expertise and unfounded claims. As Henry's controversial stances gained traction, the Heimlich maneuver itself underwent a subtle yet significant transformation. The name that he had so painstakingly bestowed upon his invention was gradually replaced, morphing from the Heimlich maneuver to the more clinical-sounding abdominal thrust. The irony of this evolution is palpable. The very maneuver that Henry Heimlich had created to prevent choking, a silent killer, a threat that could rob individuals of their breath, their voice, their very essence, was now stripped of his very name, as if to erase his association from it. Henry Heimlich, the man who had saved countless lives, found himself on the precipice of self-inflicted oblivion. Oblivion. His legacy, once a monument to medical ingenuity, was now marred by controversy and questionable practices. 
His name, once revered and echoing across the globe, was now whispered with a hint of apprehension. And so, the enigma of Henry Heimlich remains, a paradox of life-saving brilliance and controversial dissent. His story serves as a cautionary tale, a reminder that even the most groundbreaking medical interventions can be tainted by flawed human judgment. It is a tale of duality, where life-saving inventions can coexist with questionable practices, and where heroes can morph into cautionary figures, their legacies forever intertwined with the shadows of their missteps. 2. Philippe Pétain In the annals of French history, there exists a name that evokes a chilling duality, Henri-Philippe Benoni Omer Pétain, the enigma of heroism and villainy. Adorned with the mantle of Marshal of France, Pétain emerged during the tempestuous era of World War I, his valor at the Battle of Verdun earning him the sobriquet, the Lion of Verdun. His strategic brilliance and unwavering resolve had stemmed the tide of German aggression, cementing his status as a national hero. Yet, as the flames of World War II engulfed Europe, Pétain's heroic persona took a sinister turn. In the wake of France's capitulation to Nazi Germany in 1940, he emerged as the head of the collaborationist Vichy regime, embracing a pact with the very forces he had once sworn to vanquish. This Faustian bargain transformed the Lion of Verdun into a pawn of the Nazi regime. Pétain's administration willingly collaborated with the occupiers, adopting a policy of appeasement that resulted in the persecution and deportation of thousands of French Jews. His actions betrayed the very ideal equality that France held dear. Pétain's complicity with Nazi atrocities tarnished his legacy, etching his name in the annals of history as a traitor and collaborator. His collaborationist government, a puppet of the Third Reich, became a symbol of France's darkest hour. In the aftermath of the war, Pétain faced trial for his crimes against humanity. Though initially sentenced to death, his punishment was commuted to life imprisonment, a fate that served as a poignant reminder of his descent from hero to villain. Pétain's story is a stark reminder of the fragility of human virtue, a cautionary tale of how even the most celebrated figures can succumb to the allure of power and expediency. His legacy serves as a haunting testament to the depths of human depravity, a chilling reminder of the ease with which heroism can morph into villainy. 3. Jim Jones In the annals of human history, few names evoke a chilling resonance as potent as that of Jim Jones, a charismatic cult leader whose descent into darkness culminated in one of the most horrific tragedies of all time. Jones' journey from a seemingly benevolent preacher to a mass murderer is a tale of delusion, manipulation, and the terrifying depths of human depravity. Jones' early life was marked by an insatiable hunger for power and recognition. He honed his oratorical skills, weaving tales of racial equality and social justice, attracting a devoted following. His charm and charisma masked a simmering narcissism, an insatiable need for control that would ultimately lead to his followers' demise. In 1974, Jones established the People's Temple Agricultural Project, Jonestown, in Guyana, South America. This isolated commune became a sanctuary for Jones' growing cult, a place where he could exert absolute control over his followers. followers. Jones' grip on his flock tightened as he instilled fear and paranoia, convincing them that the outside world was a hostile place, a threat to their utopian vision. On November 18, 1978, Jones' reign of terror reached its chilling crescendo. In a gruesome ritual known as White Nights, he convinced his followers to ingest cyanide-laced Kool-Aid, claiming it was a revolutionary medicine. In a scene reminiscent of a macabre horror film, 918 people, including 304 children, perished in this orchestrated mass suicide. Jones, the mastermind behind this unthinkable tragedy, remained a coward to the end. He did not drink the poison, instead succumbing to a gunshot wound to the head, behind a legacy of unimaginable horror and despair. The Jonestown Massacre stands as a stark reminder of the destructive power of unchecked ego and the fragility of human reason. It serves as a chilling testament to the dangers of blind faith and the ease with which charismatic figures can manipulate and exploit their followers. Jones' legacy is not merely a tale of religious fanaticism, 
It is a profound exploration of the dark corners of the human psyche, a chilling reminder of the depths of depravity to which we can descend. His story serves as a cautionary tale, a stark warning against the dangers of unchecked power and the allure of blind faith. 4. Benedict Arnold In the annals of American history, few names evoke a chilling resonance as potent as Benedict Arnold, a man who ascended to the pinnacle of heroism only to plunge into the abyss of treachery, forever etched in the collective memory as the epitome of betrayal. A brilliant military strategist and audacious leader, Arnold initially emerged as a beacon of hope for the fledgling nation, his valor and strategic brilliance earning him the rank of Major General in the Continental Army. His victories at Fort Ticonderoga and Saratoga cemented his reputation as one of America's most formidable warriors. Yet, beneath the veneer of heroism lurked a festering discontent, a gnawing ambition that would ultimately lead him down a path of darkness. Arnold's financial troubles, exacerbated by a series of failed business ventures, compounded his frustrations and fueled his resentment towards his fellow officers and the Continental Congress. In a fate, Arnold's mounting debts and simmering resentment converged with his strategic brilliance, forging an alliance with the British. In exchange for substantial sums of money and a promise of political power, Arnold agreed to betray his country and deliver West Point one of America's most strategically important forts, into British hands. This act of treachery sent shockwaves through the American populace, shattering the trust and unity that were the cornerstones of the revolution. Arnold, once hailed as a hero, became a pariah, his name synonymous with treason and the darkest depths of human betrayal. Fleeing to the safety of British lines, Arnold's life took a tragic turn. His treachery alienated him from his former comrades and his British allies, leaving him isolated and ostracized. His attempts at business ventures failed miserably, and his reputation as a traitor preceded him wherever he went. Arnold's final years were marked by bitterness, regret, bitterness, regret and a constant fear of retribution. He died in obscurity in London, a bitter reminder of the devastating consequences of ambition and betrayal. Benedict Arnold's legacy serves as a stark cautionary tale, a chilling reminder of the fragility of loyalty and the insidious allure of greed. His name continues to haunt American history, a haunting symbol of the darkness that can lurk beneath the veneer of heroism. 5. Richard Jewell, The Media's Trial of an Innocent Man In the annals of modern history, Few names evoke a chilling resonance as potent as that of Richard Jewell, a man whose heroism was unjustly eclipsed by a relentless media frenzy, transforming him from a celebrated hero to a hounded suspect. The year was 1996. The Summer Olympics were in full swing, captivating the world with its spectacle of athletic prowess and international camaraderie. Amidst this backdrop of global unity, a dark cloud descended upon the city of Atlanta, Georgia. A bomb exploded in Centennial Olympic Park, sending shockwaves through the nation and casting a pall over the Olympic spirit. In the aftermath of the bombing, a figure emerged who would become inextricably linked to the tragedy, Richard Jewell, a security guard at the park. Jewell's actions that fateful night were nothing short of heroic. Upon discovering a suspicious backpack containing a bomb, he bravely moved people away from the potential blast zone, potentially saving countless lives. Jewel's heroism was initially celebrated. He was hailed as a hero, his name etched into the annals of Olympic history, but as the days turned into weeks, a sinister twist of fate unfolded. A list of FBI suspects leaked, and Jewel's name found itself among them. The media, like a pack of ravenous wolves, descended upon Jewel, descended upon Jewel their insatiable appetite for sensationalism transforming him from a hero to a villain. Without concrete evidence, they painted him as a suspect, their relentless attacks fueled by speculation and conjecture. Jewel's life was turned upside down. His reputation was tarnished, his privacy invaded, and his very character questioned. The media's relentless pursuit of a story, their insatiable hunger for ratings, had transformed an innocent man into a pariah. Months passed, and under intense scrutiny, Jewel's name was eventually cleared. The FBI acknowledged their error, and Jewel was exonerated. But the damage had been done. 
The media's trial had taken its toll, leaving indelible scars on Jewel's psyche. Despite the ordeal, Jewel emerged with a sense of dignity and resilience. He continued to serve as a security guard, his commitment to public safety unwavering. He pursued legal action against the media outlets that had defamed him, seeking justice for the seeking justice for the wrongs he had endured. In the years that followed, Jewel's story became a cautionary tale, a stark reminder of the media's power to destroy lives. His legacy serves as a reminder of the importance of due process, the presumption of innocence, and the inherent dangers of a trial by the media. Richard Jewell's story is a haunting portrait of the fragility of human reputation and the destructive power of unchecked media scrutiny. It is a story that resonates deeply, a reminder that even in the face of adversity, the human spirit can endure. 6. Harry Harlow in the annals of scientific experimentation, there exists a name that evokes a chilling duality, Harry Harlow, a psychologist whose path-breaking research into the effects of maternal deprivation on infant monkeys was overshadowed by a series of ethically dubious and downright cruel experiments. ...of the psychological impact of love and affection was conducted using a series of controversial methods. He isolated infant monkeys depriving them of maternal contact and exposing them to various forms of social and environmental deprivation. His most infamous experiment involved presenting infant monkeys with two surrogate mothers, one made of soft terry cloth and providing no food, and the other made of wire and providing food. The monkeys overwhelmingly preferred the cloth mother, demonstrating the profound importance of physical contact and emotional support in early development. Harlow's findings revolutionized our understanding of childhood development, highlighting the crucial role of love and attachment in shaping an individual's emotional well-being. However, his pursuit of knowledge took a sinister turn as he delved deeper into the realms of social isolation and punishment. In a series of increasingly disturbing experiments, Harlow subjected monkeys to isolation chambers, terror tunnels, and even a pit of despair, a barren enclosure designed to induce severe depression. These experiments, devoid of any ethical considerations, inflicted immense suffering on the monkeys, leaving them traumatized and psychologically scarred. Harlow's relentless pursuit of knowledge at the expense of animal welfare eventually drew the ire of the scientific community. His experiments were deemed unethical and cruel, and he was ultimately forced to abandon his research. Harlow's legacy remains a complex and contradictory one. His early work on maternal deprivation stands as a landmark contribution to our understanding of human development, yet his later experiments, marred by cruelty and disregard for animal welfare, cast a dark shadow over his reputation. His story serves as a stark reminder of the delicate balance between scientific inquiry and ethical conduct. A cautionary, a cautionary tale against the allure of unchecked ambition and the perils of sacrificing animal welfare in the pursuit of knowledge. 7. Linus Pauling In the annals of scientific history, Linus Pauling stands as a paradoxical figure, a brilliant chemist and peace activist who, despite his Nobel accolades, found himself entangled in a web of controversy surrounding his ardent advocacy for megavitamin therapy. Pauling's early career was marked by groundbreaking achievements in chemistry, earning him a Nobel Prize in 1954. His work on the structure of molecules revolutionized our understanding of matter, solidifying his reputation as one of the most esteemed scientists of his generation. Yet, as Pauling delved into the realm of nutrition, his once unimpeachable reputation began to crumble. His fervent belief in the therapeutic powers of high doses of vitamins, particularly vitamin C, led him to make bold claims about its ability to prevent and cure a wide range of diseases, including cancer. The medical community greeted Pauling's assertions with skepticism, citing a lack of rigorous scientific evidence. Undeterred by criticism, Pauling embarked on a crusade to prove his theories, engaging in heated debates and public confrontations with his detractors. His unwavering insistence on the validity of megavitamin therapy, despite the absence of supporting evidence, eroded his credibility among scientists and the public alike. 
His once celebrated stature as a scientific pioneer was overshadowed by his relentless pursuit of a controversial and unproven medical approach. Pauling's legacy remains a contentious one. one. His contributions to chemistry are undeniable, yet his obsession with megavitamin therapy tarnished his reputation, perpetuating misconceptions about nutrition and health that persist to this day. His story serves as a cautionary tale, a reminder that even the most brilliant minds can fall prey to the allure of unproven theories and the allure of self-righteousness. It highlights the importance of scientific skepticism and the need for rigorously vetted evidence before embracing alternative medical approaches. 8. Fritz Haber, The Janus of Science in the annals of science, few names evoke a duality as stark and chilling as that of Fritz Haber, a man whose brilliance in chemistry was overshadowed by his complicity in the horrors of chemical warfare. His legacy is a haunting paradox, a testament to the fragility of virtue and the destructive potential of unchecked ambition. Haber's early career was marked by remarkable achievements in chemistry. His invention of the Haber-Bosch process, a method for the large-scale synthesis of ammonia, revolutionized agriculture, enabling the production of vast quantities of fertilizers. This groundbreaking invention earned him the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1918. However, as the flames of World War I engulfed Europe, Haber's scientific prowess took a sinister turn. Imbued with a fervent sense of nationalism, he joined the German army, utilizing his expertise in chemistry and chemistry to develop the first chemical weapons, chlorine and mustard gas, unleashed on the battlefields. These weapons, unleashed with devastating effect, transformed warfare into a horrifying spectacle of mass death and suffering. Haber's contribution to the development of chemical warfare stands as a dark stain on his legacy a chilling reminder of the destructive potential of scientific knowledge in the wrong hands. The use of chemical weapons in World War I marked a turning point in the history of warfare, ushering in an era of unimaginable brutality. Haber, the Nobel laureate, became inextricably linked to this legacy of horror, his name forever etched in the annals of war as the father of chemical warfare. In the aftermath of the war, Haber grappled with the weight of his actions. He expressed remorse for his role in the development of chemical weapons, lamenting the suffering they had caused. However, his efforts to distance himself from his past proved futile. The stain of his wartime actions remained indelible. Haber's life serves as a stark reminder of the delicate balance between scientific innovation and ethical responsibility. His story is a cautionary tale, a haunting portrait of how even the most brilliant minds can succumb to the allure of power and the perils of unchecked ambition. He stands as a Janus-faced figure in the history of science, a man whose legacy is both awe-inspiring and horrifying, a testament to the duality of human nature and the immense power of science, both for good and for evil. 9. Charles Lindbergh in the realm of American history, few names conjure up an image as chilling and enigmatic as that of Charles Lindbergh, a man who ascended to the pinnacle of heroism only to plummet into the depths of controversy and disgrace. Lindbergh's name was immortalized in the annals of aviation history when he became the first aviator to conquer the Atlantic, completing the daring transatlantic flight in 1927. His heroic feat propelled him to international stardom, earning him the adoration of a nation captivated by his audacity and skill. However, as the ominous shadow of World War II loomed, Lindbergh's trajectory took a sinister turn. Embracing isolationist sentiments, he forged an unlikely alliance with the Nazi regime, accepting accolades from Adolf Hitler himself. His endorsement of Nazi ideology, particularly his anti-Semitic rhetoric, shattered his heroic image and tarnished his legacy beyond repair. In a notorious speech, Lindbergh proclaimed that the United States should remain aloof from the war, attributing the conflict to a conspiracy orchestrated by the British, the Roosevelt administration, and, most controversially, the Jews. His assertion that Jews would be better off avoiding the war, citing their vulnerability, fueled anti-Semitic sentiments and painted him as a Nazi sympathizer. Branded a traitor and a pariah, Lindbergh's reputation was forever tarnished. 
The man who had once been hailed as a national hero was now reviled for his endorsement of a regime that had plunged the world into chaos. Lindbergh's descent from hero to villain serves as a chilling reminder of the fragility of public perception and the seductive allure of extremist ideologies. His story is a cautionary tale, a haunting testament to the ways in which even the most celebrated figures can stumble into the abyss of disgrace. 10. Charles Romley Alder Wright In the annals of scientific history, there exists a name that evokes a chilling duality, Charles Romley Alder Wright, a man whose pursuit of medical advancement led to the inadvertent creation of one of the world's most destructive substances, heroin. Wright's early work as a chemistry and physics researcher in London was marked by a noble ambition, to discover a non-addictive alternative to morphine, a potent painkiller that had become notorious for its addictive properties. He embarked on a series of experiments, meticulously combining morphine with various acids, hoping to synthesize a compound that retained its analgesic effects while shedding its addictive potential. In his pursuit of a harmless alternative, Wright inadvertently stumbled upon an even more potent form of morphine, diacetylmorphine, more commonly known as heroin. This synthetic derivative proved to be several times stronger than its parent compound, offering a fleeting escape from pain but leaving in its wake a trail of addiction and despair. Initially, heroin was marketed as a cough suppressant, hailed as a miraculous cure for various respiratory ailments. However, its addictive qualities soon became apparent, as users developed an insatiable craving for its euphoric effects and the temporary reprieve it offered from their ailments. As the destructive nature of heroin became increasingly evident, its use as a medicine was discontinued. Yet, the damage had been done, had been done. Heroin had taken root in the illicit drug trade, its potent allure ensnaring countless individuals in its web of addiction. Charles Romley Alder Wright, the man who inadvertently unleashed this scourge upon society, remains a paradoxical figure in the history of science. His legacy is a haunting reminder of the delicate balance between scientific advancement and its potential consequences, a cautionary tale against the unintended consequences.